Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. Elliot! I don't think you should be number five. I don't, I'm, I'm not trying to be the 50 year old person still complaining about not being on lists, beefing with screamers, doing goofy sh you know, starting sh you know, online with rappers just to keep my name relevant. No, I think Jason, that's what I mean when I say, why, why, why are you upset that people are transcending hip hop? So I think that I've done active things as they, they explained into it. The title, the creative interview I did with Rap Radar, my presence on social media, building this show with you guys. They explain why I deserve to be number five. Me, my take, my opinions mattering in this Drake Kendrick beef, my role in that. Like I did a lot of great things in the last 12 months. That's what they're judging it by. I took the position they gave me last year, number eight or whatever. I didn't like that. I worked harder in the last year to raise my position. So I went up three slots to number five. I think I earned that shit. So when they I think I earned it. And I don't care about anybody else trying to dismiss it, especially when you ain't got the balls to explain why. Yeah, I passed on the billionaires invite and the breakfast club. Oh, uh, and my petty. petty. That yes. was the beginning. You know, I asked the fans. Then they said you should, you could choose to do flagrant. And then I said again, I'll do flagrant. And I was surprised when flagrant came with the ask of Charlemagne has to be included. So then I said, no, I do not want to sit with Charlemagne. So you don't want any resolve, is what you're saying? It's resolved to me. We're not cool. Wow, man. Check it, man. Hey, man, it's your boy, ECEO. Look, man, I had to check this, man. I'm, I'm just tripping off the way, you know, this whole thing went down. I mean, Complex, these guys, man, they come out with these lists. And these people go crazy, man, trying to understand who is the greatest, you know. And I'm going to be honest with you. When I looked at the list, I wasn't too impressed with the list. I really wasn't going to speak on it because it never does include what goes on in the South. So you got to understand a lot of these guys, you know, they overlook the South. And, you know, I look at the demographics. So when you look at, uh, say, Say Cheese, or when you look at any of these, Beehive, if you look at, um, say, anybody, Boss Talk 101, for example. So at the end of the day, that art killed it. And you got to give me something on that, just yeah. how you guys came Are together with that and all that, you know? I first met Beyonce in, in a, a show. Anybody that's really, we represent the culture. So a lot of time down here, it's overlooked. But Say Cheese definitely, I don't see how he wasn't on the list. And he, his numbers definitely can't be denied. So at the end of the day, when you look at Charlemagne and Elliot over here talking about who all should have been on this top list, 25, whatever, you know, you can't leave out different people and expect people to respect this list. And I already know the demographic markdown. I've been watching it for years. Y'all, if you watch Boss Talk, you already know how I feel about it. I've been telling y'all this for the longest, and then y'all be trying to act like I'm just making up stuff. But these people are not really, uh, they're biased a lot of times. Um, 85 South shouldn't have been on the list. Um, the numbers don't lie. The interviews they do don't lie. I mean, they've done interviews with a lot of great people, including some of the ones, Bun B, Birdman, all those guys. They don't include the South in their list. So I don't respect their list. I never have respected. And, and, and at Pimp C rolling over in his grave right now. And, and I wouldn't be, I wouldn't even give us no, 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 you don't think everything that's happening in the South is credible? This, this stuff is biased, but Anyway, I don't want to rant on y'all. Let's just stop for a second. Let me talk about um, Elliot, because I think Elliot's dope, to be honest with you. I've been watching him from since Rap Radar and all that stuff. So, all the, I mean, I, I definitely know, to me, you know, all of them in the same pot. Now, I don't mean they being, they still biased. So I'm not tripping on that. They take Drake and embrace him, like, you know, and they take these different artists if they want to embrace them from wherever, and then they try to make it to where it's something where their opinion, which is very subjective, is all that matters. But anyway, I didn't even get on here for that. I got on here to talk about Charlemagne when Charlemagne calls out Elliot, and it was a cold call out. You know, I seen when he done it, but Elliot, has kind of, he just spoke again on uh, Hip Hop DX, and he said he don't want no resolve with Charlemagne. He don't want to resolve it with Charlemagne. And I get it, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, he feel like he respects Charlemagne. You could tell the way he's talking. He don't really want to even beef or go sit in with him to even do that with him. But he also understands that he feel like he called him out just in the mix of, you had all these people on this list, and he picked me out of everybody to talk about. Why did Charlemagne pick Elliot? Because he was so far up on the list 
that he probably felt like, okay, what is this guy doing up here? You know, and academics, of course, academics, a, a goat, uh, uh, academics done posted boss talk. Breakfast Club done posted boss talk. They'll show us a little shine, a little respect, but, and at the end of the day, you say, geez, I don't know if he's been posted on there. But a lot of times, like I said, they turn a blind eye to what we do in the South. And I keep trying to tell y'all, get behind Boss Talk 101. Get behind Say Cheese. Get behind 85 South. Let these people know, man, that it's a lot more going on than just what they're scoping out like that. You know, when you look at uh, real life street stars, you know, they had a hell of a year. They went over a million. Um, when you look at any of these guys, man, you got some people that have been working, man. And at the end of the day, they're never, they never speak about them at all. And like I say, a lot of my stuff done been posted by everybody, the people they had on that list, from Vlad and all of them throughout the years. Not just last year, but year before last, ever since I came in the game. I came in hot. And at the end of the day, my stuff went viral through and through, over and over again. Uh, all of my stuff, not just, you know, we started off, of course, we dealt with Charles White. That wasn't nothing. I dealt with Faison. That went crazy. The same people Vlad deal with. I dealt with, uh, uh, shoot, Ari Spears. Same people Vlad deal with. I dealt with uh, a lot of these people that showed up on these shows. Pim and Kim was on the Breakfast Club. This, this, uh, and, and, and at the end of the day, uh, a lot of the people from D1, a lot of our people went up there, got on their platforms, and and, and when things go ballistic or whatever, they, they never think about that. Well, Joe Budden, that D1 thing, that's a Southern thing. That boy is from the South, and he's, he, was, he was speaking on Christian, uh, uh, you know, just they, they want to call him a Christian rapper, but he was speaking on the lyrics and, and, and what's being said in a lot of these songs. That was a big topic, but you can turn and spin it however you want to. You can't deny the fact that these numbers don't lie when it comes down to the Say Cheeses, the 85 South. Uh, a lot of times I feel like mine being shadow banned, I, I'm cool with all that, but I'm just saying, man, that all these people that's Posting every day, man. Kudos to y'all. It's a lot of dope, dope, dope platforms down here. You know, I don't know what ties Big Facts or I don't know what ties these other ones have with all of them guys. You know, I really don't. Um, but I just say it's some dope platforms in the South. And y'all won't say nothing because y'all choose to be friends with everybody and just accept things as they are. Well, I'm independent. I do this on my own. Me and my wife, we've been married for 22 years. We don't trip off none of this. My other co-host, Money Moses, yeah, he going through a thing. We got a whole lot of different stuff going on than what you guys even ever even seen on this internet. So at the end of the day, the stuff we've shown y'all, I have went viral through and through. I've done the millions on different ones from Pimp and Ken all, all the way. The reason you see a lot of the guys you see is because of the way Boss Talk 101 delivered in 2021, 2022, 2023, and 2024. So at the end of the day, guys, Come on, man, show some love and show some respect to what we do in the South. But anyway, man, tell me what you think about Charlemagne and Elliot getting into it, going back and forth. You're both on the list, be happy. Thank God you ain't from the South because you wouldn't even be on the list. I don't count uh, Charlemagne as being from the South because he a North Carolina, I mean a South Carolina boy. And at the end of the day, he been up there in New York in them offices with them folks, man. So at the end of the day, but he's dope and talented. Don't get it twisted. The boy dope and talented. Elliot's is dope and talented. I'm not saying none of those guys are not dope and talented. A lot of them would been doing that. Some of us just have a natural knack for this. At the end of the day, they talented. I'm not saying they're not talented. Million Dollar Game, they, they're talented. It's a lot of them talented, but they all in these rooms together. Academics, Joe Budden, they all, they playing this game with everybody in their circle of trust. But we know in the South what's really going down. We already know. We get the views and we get... The same thing Pimp was saying. It's just a matter of time before the sauce just sauce all the way in what we're doing down here. And then you ain't going to be able to deny us just like you couldn't deny us in the music. You won't be able to deny us in podcasting or none of this stuff. So, man, check it, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me get off my soapbox. Let me know what you think, man. Should Elliot forgive uh, Charlemagne? Uh, they've tried to get him on their platform. Should should Charlemagne uh, reach out and try to squash this situation he had with Elliot? Should they even be fussing? They both on a list that's pretty much, for me, geographically biased. Shout out to uh, Hip Hop DX. I've seen my stuff on your stuff before a lot of times. So at the end of the day, I don't know how y'all gauging this stuff. I, it's really a thing where I just popped off. And at the end of the day, 
we're going to keep posting. We're going to keep interviewing people. That's why I tell y'all in these comments, man, y'all be talking like, well, this or that. Yeah, my boy, Big Core, shout out. Like, it's some people, some dope people that a lot of time not going to be mentioned because we so, so, man, Willie D, another one. I got to give him his shout out. Willie D been doing his thing. I can keep going, bro. We got some dope people, man, that really killing the game. And I'm going to say, man, kudos to everybody. Damn the list. If the list don't mention us, it don't matter. We respect the people, but we know what you're doing, man. Holla at your boy. Boss Talk 101. Boss Talk 101 reviews. Let me know what you think in the comments. Yeah, I got down. Just a little bit. Holla at your boy, man. Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me.